and Richard Leake's lead over Mark Ronier and Chris Birkin in the Castrol Toyota Hilux in the SA Off-Road Championship for Production Vehicles, presented by APSA, has been whittled away after the recent Queen Motor Spares Taka 400. Only seven of the eight rounds count towards the championship and Hrobla and Leek, who won the first four event of the season, have held the lead all year long. It's very tight at the moment after uh, we've dropped our uh, points on the one event. Um, the guys are very close to us and uh, we're very concerned about it. Um, we'll have to win, try and win this event again to, to stay ahead of them. The Nissan pair failed to complete the prologue and started 22nd, 16 minutes behind teammates Janil de Villiers and Francois Jordan. They had to contend with brake problems on lap one and gearbox problems on lap two of the Queen Motor Spares Targa 400 and in the end settled for fourth overall. <laughs> What are the prospects for Marc Ronier? Oh, we've managed to creep a little bit closer after the last event. We did fairly well. Um, and what's happened now is we're allowed to drop a event. So I dropped my worst event and he obviously drops his worst, worst event. And we've actually managed to creep up a little bit. Um, the, rest of the, the rest of the championship, um, well, we're trying to creep closer towards the end. And hopefully we'll have some good results in the next three events and look forward to the, the overall championship. Cronje and Birkin, one of only four crews to have completed each event this year, had a clean run in their near standard bucky and finished six overall and first in Class E last time out and have closed to within 16 points of the championship leaders. Neither of the two crews can afford a non-finish in the remaining three rounds of the championship if they hope to keep their title chances alive. There are potentially five teams that are in with a chance of snatching the title away from them. Third placed, Kasi Kutsia and Okifuri have had a consistent run in the Castro Toyota Hilux KZTE and have had one win and two second place finishes in Class E to their credit and only trail the leaders by 21 points. Despite starting 50th overall and 25th in the production vehicle category and losing front wheel drive towards the end of the race, the veteran rally and off-road driver finished 9th overall and 2nd in Class E in Takastat. Former champions Janil de Villiers, who resides in Stellenbosch, and Francois Jordan led from start to finish in the proudly South African Nissan Hardbody in Tarkistat to add 35 points to their tally and move from 7th to 4th place in the championship battle. They are 45 points behind their teammates, but only 6 points ahead of Peter Maritzburg businessman Neil Woolridge and Ken Schultheimer in the Team Ford Racing Ranger, who gained 4 places after finishing 2nd in Tarkistat. It is very close at the moment. It's between me and my dad and Hein and Gerard, and we're just a few points ahead of them. Our strategy is to complete all the races, the races as far up as we can, and just to finish and to get as most points as possible. Harry Smith-based father and son Juan and Martinez van der Merwe finished 12th overall and 3rd in Class D in the Shivani Coldradeo on the Queen Motor Spares Taka 400. This earned them enough points to retain their Class D championship lead over Clarkstock businessmen Hein Hrobla and Gerard Prinsloo in the GBS racing Nissan Hardbody. But they have dropped a position in the overall standings by virtue of the strong performances of the Class T brigade. Sun City recently played host to the sixth round of the SA Off-Road Car Racing Championship presented by APSA. This internationally acclaimed resort is set in the heart of an ancient volcano and has a unique heartbeat and African rhythm of its own. The tranquil oasis-like resort belied the fact that the surrounding Pilonsberg area hadn't had rain for months. The Sun City 400 was organized by Off-Road South Africa and the route set out in the Pilonsberg area promised to be a tough test for man and machine. 30 production vehicle and 37 special vehicle crews from all corners of South Africa and neighboring Botswana entered the event and for many of them it would be a make or break situation as far as their overall and class championship aspirations were concerned. Nissan has reigned supreme, winning every race this season with the Ford and Toyota teams seemingly not having an answer to their dominance. A similar situation is developing in the special vehicle category where the locally designed and built bats have taken the battle to the various American imports that have dominated the scene for 
decades. The presence of Belgian Grégoire de Mavius, who was entered in an Audi V8 powered bat, added a touch of international flavor to the Sun City 400. As per usual, teams attended to documentation and scrutineering formalities, while service crews were hard at work making final adjustments to their vehicles in preparation for the 40 kilometer prologue, the results of which determined starting positions for the main event, which would comprise three laps of a tough 130 kilometer route. Class D contender Piet Hasbroek had problems from the moment he offloaded the Castrol Toyota Land Cruiser from the trailer. Production vehicle championship leaders Hannes Hrobler and Richard Leek showed the rest of the field the way home when they set the fastest time in the prologue. This would place them in good stead for the main event as they would have no dust with which to contend. This was the fourth time that the proudly South African Nissan pair had qualified on pole. Teammates Duncan Foss and Mike Griffith qualified 28 seconds slower while Neil Woolridge and Ken Schultheimer were a further minute behind in the 3.4 litre V6 powered Team Ford Racing Ranger. The former champions last won an event in November 2001 and were intent on halting Nissan's 12 event winning streak. They could have done without this unnecessary delay. and Francois Jordan had a wild ride when they misread an instruction on the route schedule and went straight instead of turning right soon after the start of the prologue. Many crews would suffer a similar fate. De Villiers and Jordan won the Queen Motorspares Taka 400 and were confident of repeating the feat on the Sun City 400, but it seemed as if Lady Luck was not on their side. A hairdryer that is used as a demister short-circuited and caught fire. This scary moment cost them valuable time and they could only qualify fourth fastest, over two minutes behind Horobler and Leek and a mere second faster than R.P. Reinecke and Robin Houghton in the Castrol Toyota Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. This tricky section of the route would prove to be the undoing of many crews. Mark Corbett and Jason Brewer were the fastest special vehicle qualifiers in the Audi V8 powered Century Property Developments BAT and were followed six seconds later by husband and wife Gerard and Quibi Duplessis in the mobile Jimco. Gerard won four events in 2002 but has been plagued by mechanical problems this season which has resulted in four non-finishes. Botswana-based Zane Noble and Richard Hope qualified eighth fastest in the Class S Abe's Furniture Raceco. Class S caters for space frame vehicles with beam or trailing arm front suspensions like the Rapsa Raceco of Nardus, Alberts and Colin Hunter. Alberts won the Caledon 400 three years ago and decided to retire but found the attraction of off-road racing too great and bought the ex Greg Douse Toyota 1000 winning Raceco. He could have done without this delay caused by arch rival and multiple former champion Richard Richard Schilling and Ashley Thorne in the Plastotech race co. The veteran pair were making a rare appearance at an off-road race and could only qualify 45th after the engine management system failed. Albert's career spans over two decades during which time he won many races.
Gary Bertolt and Brandon Harkers weren't too happy with 10th after losing time with a puncture. Rashid Noble and nephew Faisal Noble qualified 11th in the powerful Abe's Furniture Ace Co. The burly Botswana businessman is well known for his fast prologue times, but hasn't seen the finish line too often in the past. Noble has a preference for mega horsepower V8 engines, and the unit fitted to the Ace Co develops 440 horsepower. In sharp contrast, the Elegance Copperlung Hotel Mighty Mag is the smallest special vehicle in the field. Rob Walk managed to qualify 12th only six seconds behind Noble. Production vehicle championship contenders Mark Ronier and Chris Birkin were one of many crews caught out soon after the start of the prologue. Unlike Terence Marsh and Trevor Ayer, they survived their ordeal. Newcomer to off-road racing, Cronier must rate as the find of the year, and his podium finishing performances in the Castrol Toyota Hilux 2.7i have amazed the veterans of the sport. S Championship leader Nick Gosler and co-driver Warren Bowie had a good run in the O'Hagan's Copperlung Hotel race go and managed to post the 14th fastest time. Team Ford racing pair Manfred Schroeder and Jack Peckham qualified 18 seconds slower than arch rivals Cronier and Birkin. Last year they rolled the Ranger in this section of the route and it took a large front end loader to lift the stricken vehicle out of the Donga. Much was expected of Belgian Grégoire de Mavius in the adrenalized corporate entertainment bat, but he found the going a little tough and would start 33rd after repeatedly getting lost. John Weir Smith and stand-in co-driver Peter Carum also had a tough time in the O'Hagan's Coppeling Hotel Super Team Jimco. Regular co-driver Jeff Minnett had to sit this one out after severing tendons in his left hand. <laughs> Smith is known for his hard-charging, sometimes aggressive style, and this frustrating delay was the last thing the Toyota 1000 winner needed. His run would come to an end when the left front spindle sheared off. The prologue took its toll on vehicles and services crews were hard at work repairing damage and preparing vehicles for the following day's main event, which would comprise three laps of a dusty, rough 130 kilometer route that would include dry riverbeds, dongas, rocks and high speed sections. Sponsor and team management and some of the drivers. Yay!